In this video, I will show you how to display the data in a dot plot using Google Sheet. First, let us pull out Google Sheet and then label. So this will be the weight and the weight will be in grams. And the second column is the number, the count, or the frequency. So you can extend this. So to transfer this one in Google Sheet easily, let us minimize this. And also this one to make two windows. Then let us input all the weight. Next is we will count the number or the frequency, but before that, we need to sort this number out. So when we say sort out, we need to arrange it from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. How do you do that? First, highlight starting from the first number, 20, then go down. Let us maximize this. You can actually sort this out by clicking the data. And as you can see, there is sort sheet here from A to Z. But if you do that, the title will be at the bottom. And we don't like it. So undo. To arrange this without affecting the title, just right click and find sort out or arrange. As you can see, you cannot find it here. So click view more cell actions to find out the sort data or the sort range. So as you can see, sort range is here. So click it and then sort column A. This is column A from A to Z. That is from lowest to highest or Z to A, highest to lowest, but we want the ascending or lowest to highest, then click sort. There you go. The data given is already arranged. Now, we will count the number of weights depending on how many times the number appears. So 18 appears once, then there's another one, so we'll make it two, meaning there are two 18s. How about 19? One, two, then three. Then, how about 20? How many 20s are there? Let us count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six 20s in the given data. Next, how many 21s? One, two, three, four. All right, there are only four. How about 22? There is only one 22. How about 23? There is only one 23. Then 27, one, two, and lastly, there's only one 28. So that's what you're gonna do before you put this in a dot plot. Let us now display this in a dot plot. How? First, Start with the first row and then highlight the two columns weight in grams and count or frequency. Then let us display this in a dot plot and there are two ways to do that. One is look at the icon over here. If you could see in search chart, you can actually click this or if you cannot find the short way, Go to insert, then find for chart, and there you go. It's the same. Sometimes this is not a dot plot. You could see that this is histogram. Sometimes it's like this. If your graph is not a dot plot, go to setup, then look for chart type, click the column chart, and look for dot plot or scatter plot and click and here under setup you could see the x-axis which is named in grams then we have the y-axis which is count or frequency you can actually play with this by changing the font the color and 
so on. How? Click Customize and let us go to Chart Style. If you want to change the background color, then you can change it. Whatever color you want, you can actually modify it. But I just want a gray background. And also, font. If you want default, if you want to change it, I want it wide. Next, let us click Chart and Access Title. Change the font and the font size. I want the font size to be 20. And then, do you want to make your title bold? Change the title color. It is up to you. So, I want to change it to red. And that's it. Next, the series. In the series, we can actually change the color of your dot. I want to make it green and the point size if you want to make it smaller. But I want 10 or just like 7. And if you want to change this one to different shape like triangle, if you want to make it a square, star, it is up to you. So I want to change it to pentagon. How about the horizontal axis? The horizontal axis is from 18 to 28. So now the lowest number is 18. So if I want to adjust this, let us make my minimum value um, 16 so that it is not there. Or you can change it to 17. And the maximum value based on the maximum number is 28. You can actually make that 29 or 30. So there is an interval here and at the end. And then vertical axis. Okay, what will be the minimum value of your vertical axis? So as you can see, this one reaches the top and the highest is 6. So I can make the minimum value from 0 and so that this one would not be like that. So I will make this 8 or 7. So you could actually see this. If you want to change the color of the font, you can make that red as well. You can make it bold and you can make this one like 16 and then this one double click. You can also change the color. I want to make this one 16. This is how you display the data in a dot plot using Google Sheets.